Fine. In uh, day three, you have got this uh, class and Dell laptop, HP laptop, and also I created this class test for Java as well. Fine. And in the end, I created the class Lenin example. Now, over here, if I create the object of Firefox driver, before that, uh, let me add the Selenium jar file. Hold on. Okay. If I write the command Firefox driver, equals f equals to new firefox driver fine and if i write the command chrome driver c equals to new chrome driver. okay now taking up a practical example a scenario wherein suppose you have your browser stored in a variable that means which browser you want to work on. Later on, we will be reading this browser name from an Excel file or a properties file or from some external source. But right now, I'm just putting over here that the browser on which I want to work on is Mozilla browser. So in that case, I will have to create the object of Firefox driver. And I will not have to create the object of Chrome driver. Okay. Right, I will only be, I should only be creating object of Firefox driver, but how will I work with this object? Right, how will I work with the Firefox driver object? Okay, and what I mean to say is that if I only create the object of Firefox driver, then I will have to give the command like this. Firefox driver dot go to some website dot get to some website and say Firefox driver dot say close the browser. So all the all the commands have to be given from this object f of Firefox driver. But if I change my browser to Chrome tomorrow in the external file, then I only want the commands from Chrome driver that is C. I want that the commands like Chrome driver C dot get to certain URL, C dot close and all those commands should be fired. Although the set of functions in both the drivers are equal, but which object reference will fire the function will be decided by this browser object. Okay, so out here this situation is little confusing for us. Okay. We really cannot figure out which driver class to actually, how to use the driver class. Fine. Over here, the interfaces that come into play and they save us. What we do is that, hold on. I'll just comment everything over here. We can write something like this. Web driver driver equals to null fine i'll equate my driver object to null that means it is not pointing anywhere right now okay right now if i write over here i can on my decision i can make the driver point towards new firefox driver Or I can also make my driver point towards new Chrome driver. I hope you are understanding my point. Initially, I am not pointing web driver to any particular object. Okay, this is not pointing to anything. Based on my decision, I can make my driver point towards new Firefox driver or new Chrome driver because these two classes, both of them implement the web driver interface. If you look at Selenium basics, which I had been talking about, fine. I told you, right, you can create the object like this. 
interface reference equals to new class which is implementing the interface ok. So, I can also write instead of Firefox driver I can write Chrome driver, I driver anything because all those classes implement the web driver interface alright. So, this way I am free, I am free to use any any driver. All right. So, uh, Amok, I am not able to understand your question. Again, the initiation as done yesterday is not isn't required. Initially, I I decided that it will not point. It will it, it will be required. This will be required. Obviously, like I did yesterday, I put the Chrome driver exe file. I will have to put this exe file as well ok this is mandatory ok. But I can keep a condition now that if in case the browser which I am using is equal to Chrome or Mozilla then you should make the browser point towards Firefox driver ok. Else if the browser is Chrome you can make the make the driver point towards the Chrome or Chrome driver right. So, this is the difference ok and later on you can take the driver to the URL like driver dot get to the URL HTTP say yahoo.com fine. So, what will happen is that driver initially is null in case your browser is Mozilla if your browser over here hold on I will write it over here only if the browser is Mozilla it will open up Firefox otherwise it will open up Chrome fine. So, when you run this you will see that this time Chrome will open and it will be taken up to yahoo.com right. And if I change if I change the browser type to Mozilla in some external file without changing the code if I run the code it will be taken to yahoo. So, I can decide the browser on which I want to work right this way and fire the commands in the browser as well. So, you see that Mozilla also opens and I have fired the command to go on Yahoo inside Mozilla. Fine. I hope you got my point. Okay. Now, Moving further after visiting the website on your desired browser you want to perform the operations you want to click somewhere you want to type somewhere ok. Now, in selenium please understand one thing that on a web page ok if you are on any web page right if you are on any web page for example, I am on times of India dot com this is a news channel a news website in India fine. Now, on any web page everything is technically known as a web element in Selenium. Do not compare this with web element of QTP if you have studied QTP forget about the web element in QTP in case you have studied QTP. In Selenium everything on a page is known as a web element a link is a web element a text box is a web element this text which you have written is also known as a web element this text field on the top right this one is also a web element. So, everything on a page is categorized under a single name known as web element alright. I hope you got my point fine and we will see how you can interact with web elements now fine ok. I will take that up in tomorrow's class fine that how do you do the interaction with the browser what are the various ways and all ok. I will stop this class today 
and i'll send you the recorded